Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to do five worked examples for resolving force vectors. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says to find the horizontal and vertical components of the following force vector. So we've got a resultant force of 50 newtons at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. So to find the horizontal component, remember we're going to use cosine or cos for cos goes across. So we've got FH equals 50. 50 cos 20, and if you put that into your calculator, we get 47 newtons. Now, because we've done the horizontal, then that means that the vertical must be using sine. So we have the FV for vertical equals 50 sine 20, which equals 17 newtons. Question 2 says that a box of mass 30 kilograms is pulled along a floor with a force of 70 newtons at an angle of 40 degrees. Part A says to sketch the situation. Now, if you were presented with a question like this in an exam or a test, it's always a good idea to sketch the situation anyway if you're not given a diagram in the question. So we can draw our floor first of all and then our box. We can then label 30 kilograms and we've got our force there of 70 newtons, which is acting at an angle to the horizontal of 40 degrees. In part B, it says find the horizontal and vertical components of the pulling force. So this is exactly what we did in question one. So to find the horizontal component, we're going to use cosine because cos goes across. So we've got FH equals 70 cos 40, which is equal to 53.6 newtons. For vertical, we have FV equals 70 sine 40, which equals 45.0 newtons. For part C, it says if there is an initial friction force of 20 newtons, calculate the initial acceleration of the box. Now this is just a classic Newton's second law question. So we're told our frictional force, we now know from part B that the horizontal component of the force along here is going to be 53.6 newtons. So if we've got 53.6 newtons there and 20 newtons back the way, then that means we can take the smaller one away from the other to get the unbalanced force first of all. So if we do that, we get F equals 53.6 minus 20 equals 33.6 newtons. We can then write down what we know from the question. So we're trying to find acceleration A. We know that the unbalanced force now is 33.6 newtons to the right and our mass is 30 kilograms. So writing down Newton's second law, we have F equals MA. Rearranging for A, we get A equals F over M. And substituting in the numbers, we get 33.6 divided by 30, which equals 1.1 meters per second squared. Question 3 is a bit different and says that a disengaged physics pupil, Niall, uses a spring balance to pull a 2 kilogram trolley along a horizontal bench. The spring balance reads 10 newtons. So we've got a spring balance there which is pulling the trolley at an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal and it says that Niall thinks that the acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. Silly Niall. Part A says explain why Niall is wrong. Well, we should realise here that he hasn't used the horizontal component of the force in his calculation. So what he's done to find an acceleration of 5 metres per second squared is he's used A equals F over M to get 10 over 2, but he's used the 10 newtons of the resultant force rather than the horizontal component of the force, which is what we would need to work out the acceleration to the right. For part B, it says calculate the true acceleration of the trolley. So we're now going to find the horizontal component of the force to find the true acceleration. So finding the horizontal component first, we're going to do FH equals 10 cos 45, which equals 7 newtons. Just the same as what we've been doing in questions 1 and 2. We can then write down what we know from the question, so we're trying to find A this time. So A equals question mark. We've got our force now horizontally of 7 newtons, and our mass is 2 kilograms for the trolley. So writing down Newton's second law, we get F equals MA. Rearranging for A, we get A equals F over M. Substituting in the numbers, we get 7 divided by 2, which gives us a simple answer of 3.5 metres per second squared. Question 4 says that a 20 kilogram block has several forces acting on it as shown below. Calculate the acceleration of the block. So we should notice here that there are two forces of 60 newtons acting at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal. And then we've got a force of 20 newtons pulling the block to the right. Now this is similar to question two, but it's gonna be more complex because we've got these two forces acting rather than just one. So first of all, we're just going to analyze one of these forces because the two are the same. So analyzing say this one, we're gonna work out the horizontal component of the force first because that's gonna allow us to then work out an unbalanced force using Using this force as well. So to get the horizontal component, we're going to use FH equals 60 cos 40. Remember, cos goes across. So this equals 46 newtons if you put it into your calculator. And then what we're going to do is because we've only analysed one, we're going to just multiply our answer by two since there are two of these vectors and they're identical. So we get FH equals 46 times two, which equals 92 newtons. And that is just the combined effect of both of these forces horizontally. 
So I'm then just going to draw a free body diagram to show you the forces we've got now acting on the block. So if we draw the ground first then our block, we've got a 20 kilogram block and our force to the right is still 20 newtons and our horizontal force to the left now is 92 newtons. So we can now work out the unbalanced force F and then use the mass to get the acceleration of the block. So to get the unbalanced force F we have F equals 92 minus 20 which equals 72 newtons and this would be an unbalanced force to the left causing the block to accelerate to the left. So writing down what we know from the question now we have A equals question mark our unbalanced force is 72 newtons to the left and our mass is 20 kilograms from the question. So writing down Newton's second law now we have F equals MA Rearranging for A, we get A equals F over M, and substituting in the numbers, we get 72 divided by 20, which gives a final answer of 3.6 meters per second squared once you put that into your calculator. Lastly, question 5 says that when on holiday, a teacher decides to chillax on a hammock which is stretched between two trees. The teacher has a mass of 70 kilograms and makes an angle of 12 degrees to the horizontal, as shown below. So there's our two trees, there's our two angles of 12 degrees, and there's the teacher on the hammock reading a book, chillaxing. And we're asked to find the tension in the hammock. So we should notice that the hammock is attached to the two trees on either side, so we've got this point here and this point here. And because of the mass on the hammock, we're going to have tension in both of these parts here. But it's important to note that the tension in both of these is going to be identical. So what we're going to do first of all is analyse one side of the hammock since both are the same. So doing that, I'm going to choose the left hand side of this bigger triangle and I'm going to split it into a right angle triangle down the middle. So we're going to analyse this left hand side. So doing that, here's our triangle. So I'm going to draw a force vector downwards and then the tension vector going up the way there. And we've drawn the tension vector going up the way in this direction because you should remember that tension always acts towards the point at which an object is suspended from, where it's maybe hanging from for example. So we can start adding in things and labelling our triangle, so we've got 12 degrees in there, we've got a right angle in there, and we also need to identify that the vector downwards is going to be due to the weight. But it's not going to be just weight because we're analysing only half of this entire hammock, remember? So it's going to be half of the weight. So it's going to be W over 2. I'm then going to label the tension T there, and it says first calculate the weight downwards as this will help us find the vertical component of the force. So writing down what we know, we're trying to find the weight W. We know that the mass is 70 kilograms for the teacher and the gravitational field strength is 9.8 newtons per kilogram on Earth. Writing down our equation, we have W equals mg. Substituting in the numbers, we get 70 times 9.8, which gives an answer of 686 newtons for the weight. Now this means that our vector down the way, the W over 2 vector, has got to be half of this weight value. So it's got to be 686 divided by 2, which equals 343 newtons. So redrawing our triangle now, we have our 12 degrees in there, our right angle triangle, 343 newtons, and our tension T. Now using trigonometry, i.e. Sogatoa, we should be able to see that the vertical component of the force can also be written as T sine 12. So we're saying that this vertical component can also be written as T sine 12. So the way to see that is if we do sine of 12 equals opposite over hypotenuse, we get sine of 12 equals this vector divided by T. So doing a bit of rearranging will give us this vector is equal to T sine 12. So that means we can equate these two expressions of T sine 12 and 343 newtons. So we have T sine 12 is equal to 343 and now remember we want T on its own. So dividing both sides by sine 12 to get T on its own we get T equals 343 divided by sine of 12. Putting that into your calculator should give us an answer of 1650 newtons. That's all for this video folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did give it one of these, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Whoa!